Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we are playing with three different filter baskets. Pesado 18 gram basket, that's the regular Pesado basket, not the high extraction one. It's made for them by IMS and everybody knows IMS baskets. This one weighs 28.5 grams and it has 715 holes. Holman 17 19 gram basket it weighs 34 grams and it has 876 holes up to a certain point probably that was the basket with the highest number of holes or one of the highest not anymore since we got waffle and other high extraction baskets and vst 18 gram basket it weighs 34 grams as well difficult to find the precise number of holes for this particular one but it is around 700 interestingly well depending obviously when and where you buy this is the most expensive of them all so it should be interesting to see which one of them gives me the best taste that's one thing that we're going to test and we will also test the extraction level so we will see which one gives us the highest percentage of extraction through this video just for fun i will be scoring them points for different things so because pesado and polman are currently at the same price and they are cheaper than vst i give them each one point then we obviously going to do the taste test the blind taste will be interesting with free samples i will have three shot glasses on a rotating plate i will be tasting and scoring each of them underneath each glass there will be a number number one it's for pesado number two it's for Pullman and number three it's for VST. The winning cup will get two points, the second best will get one point. Then we will use my refractometer and we will test the extraction level. We see which one gives us the highest extraction and this cup will get additional points. And by the end we will see which one scores the most points, which one I would recommend and which one will be the worst of them all. So I am excited. If you are as excited as myself, click like sit tight and enjoy we're going to use la Marzocco oliva style profile on descent you will find the recipe somewhere on the screen and i will also use the coffee that i've roasted myself so this is the coffee from thailand we will use Cafetec flat max 2 as a grinder what was the most bizarre country the country that we would not associate with coffee that you tried the coffee from myself i had some coffee from australia a long time ago well let's do it shots are ready i use the same settings and they they pull about the same time 36 seconds for pesado 34 seconds for pullman and vst so about the same time i try to pull them in a very quick succession so there is not immediately obvious which is which but just by the temperature i will take sip of each washing my mouth in between uh, and then i will tell you what i think about it what kind of flavor notes if any we can expect okay i've been tasting and testing not easy when you have two it's okay when you have three shots your mind starts to overthink certain things there are differences here the body in all of them feels similar i cannot say one that is distinctively different than the other in each shot i can taste pomegranate some bitterness but there is one shot that it's different than the rest and by different i say worse in this shot the sourness it's less vibrant either the less clarity of the shot the notes are less sharp not bad by itself and if you like balance if you like the, all the notes laying together then possibly you would go for this one but with this coffee i'm looking for vibrancy i'm looking for like a lively cup of modern espresso so for me this one in between those three cups is the least favorite let's reveal the shot and that's Wow, that's actually the Pesado. Interesting. So it looks like once again we are choosing between a Pullman and a VST. The first shot that I've tasted and the last shot that I've tasted, very similar. Not sure if I would be able to choose. Let me quickly taste them both. So both of those shots, nice level of sourness. Shots are vibrant. That's what I like. What I can taste, let's say it's a pomegranate and there is something else. I'm not sure if this is an Asian pear or elderflower cordial. Not sure how Asian pear tastes. 
sweetness I'm not getting that much but there is something like a floral thing in the background the taste I cannot distinguish really this one I at first I thought wow this one will be the best one yes both there is a sourness but in this one there is like a more depth more juicy sourness while this one more lemony sourness there is more flavors in that sourness than in this sourness okay both nice both vibrant but this one offers me more let's reveal the shot that scores the top prize two points go to that's a pullman that means that vst scores one point wow okay let me quickly do the refractometer readings the last point will go for the highest level of extraction. I know that the extraction by itself is meaningless, but it is another thing that we coffee geeks like to test. So I will quickly put the refractometer readings on the screen now. Okay, so once again, the difference between a VST and Polman not huge, but the Polman scored that teeny tiny bit more. I use this to measure the extraction, so this is not the most reliable equipment. The numbers slightly different each time, but still in the same order. So I would say all of them are very good in the extraction, but we have to give a point to Polman because it scored that 0.1 extra. And therefore, it's my pleasure to declare Polman as the winner of today. It's just 20 pounds. 20 pounds, that's a steal. And I'm not talking just about the materials here. Guys, if you are still here, definitely click like, consider subscribing to the channel, plenty more things coming. We compared to many different baskets over the last month, so you can look into my other videos. Not sure what I was expecting from that Pesado basket. Not bad by itself. It looks like the shots, they lost a little bit of the vibrancy. But if you are looking for the shots really nicely balanced, maybe more medium coffee rather than light roast, you might prefer this over let's say VST which is the first note is that sourness that hit me there any of those baskets is good okay so we don't have a bad baskets here VST initially that sourness was very interesting so at first I wanted to go for that VST cup but then I tasted it again and that um, sourness was too harsh for me while there were a little bit more of the juicy flavors in a Pullman basket at some point if you want I I can get a Pesado ext high extraction basket. Let me know in the comments. We can compare it with Waffle and maybe something else. Have you tried any of those uh, free baskets that we tried today? If so, which one is your favorite? Which basket do you use on a daily basis and why? But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack. These are my baskets and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.